If every element of set A is also an element of set B, then A is called a subset of B. And this is the symbol that we use to designate a subset. So it looks like a symbol with a letter C. It has a bar underneath of it. That would be a subset symbol. So we could write A is a subset of B. Here are some things that you need to consider. Every set is a subset of itself. So A is a subset of A. Also, the empty set is a subset of every set. If set A is a subset of set B, and it's not equal to B, then we call A a proper subset of B. Proper subset symbol looks very similar to the subset symbol, but without the bar underneath. So now we're going to practice identifying subsets and proper subsets. First, let's find all subsets of A where it contains the elements of the movies or of the TV shows American Idol and Survivor. So the first subset would be the same one that we see. So every set is a subset of itself. The next one would be containing a smaller version of the original, so I can put just the element American Idol, so just one element. I can put a set that just has the element of Survivor. And then finally, I can put a set that has no elements in it, or the empty set. So I was able to come up with four subsets of the original set. Now let's find all proper subsets of X, Y, Z. So unlike the first problem where I listed the original set because every set is a subset of itself, I would not include X, Y, Z in my list of proper subsets. A proper subset has to be smaller in size than the original. So what I can do is I can list any sets starting with two, of a, two elements inside. So I can do X and Y. I can do X with Z. I could do Y with Z. And I can do Y with, oh, I already got that one. I could do just one element. So I could do just X, just Y, just Z. And then finally, I can do an empty set.